Hi everyone, I'm Paul Di Giuseppe, the planning director with the town of Norton. And I have the pleasure today of interviewing Marilyn Ray, who is the owner of Everyone's Envy here in Norton. So hi Marilyn, how are you? I'm good. Well, that's great, and thank you for joining me today. Thank you for having me. <laughs> so, what is Everyone's Envy, and what inspired you to start it? Uh, it's a design company, an interior design company. Um, and I guess I was inspired to start it because so many of my friends would have total meltdowns when it came to um, doing their homes over um, and making it comfortable for themselves. Um, I, did, I had gone to school for interior design and um, I would always help them. At the time, I was working as an investigator I did private investigations and retail investigation and I said, you know, when I retire, I'm going to open my own design business and that's how it got started. Great. So, who are your clients and, and what can they expect when they come and see you? Um, I try to take a little bit of a different approach. Um, I try to read between the lines when I interview a person. Uh, I want to get to know not just what they they like, but I want to get to know them so that I can determine not only what they're going to like, but what's going to make them comfortable in their own home. Um, I've found so many times that someone will come to me and say, I want this type of a design. But after getting to know them and after talking to them, you realize you can look at a person and, and take what era that, that, that they grew up in. And the things that are going to make them most comfortable are the styles in which they grew up in. And mm -hmm. so sure. I try to combine the styles of what they grew up in and what they're going to be comfortable with, with what they want. So if my wife and I come to you for help, now my wife, wonderful person, not so budget conscientious. I'm very budget conscientious. So how would you help us there? Well, um, many people have, you know, big ideas of what they want, but they really don't want to spend that kind of money. So I do a lot of shopping at consignment stores and um, antique stores, secondhand shops. And you'd be amazed at the um, furnishings and things that you can find in a place like that mm -hmm. and you end up saving so much money and what, plenty of times I will be out just shopping and I'll see something and I'll think of a client that I have and I'll snap a picture of it and text it to them and say oh my god look at this this will be perfect for and they'll let me know if they want it or not so if you're working with someone like me who when I go into a a room or you know a house and have no concept of interior design how would you help a person like myself who's really not sure what they're looking for but know that they want to make an improvement to a to a to a house I would ask you what are the things that make you most comfortable um, are you looking for a place that you're just gonna entertain in or do you want a home that you can go in and kick your shoes off and flop down on the couch? Um, you know, do you want all contemporary, very modern styles, or are you more comfortable with the styles that you grew up with? Um, you know, so I, I try to get to know you along with getting to know what you're, what you're looking for. And do you do... I know you're working on residential pro properties. Do you do commercial properties as well? I haven't yet, but it's something I would love to try. Okay. So, Marilyn, what other services do you provide? I can help with outside design. Um, you know, what, what flowers may look good where, what type of shrubbery, if it's a new home or if you want to restyle an older home on the outside. Um, I can help with that. I can also help with... Um, color selections, like what color would look good in a room and um, what type of flooring, carpeting, I, I definitely will lead you in that direction right. also. So you do both interior and, and exterior yes. work, so. Yes. When they buy or build a home, 
they many people will build a large Victorian home, say Victorian style, and yet when you go inside, you don't see a Victorian style. Right. So it it's all going to depend on what their design choice is on the inside of the house. Um, I try to encourage people if they do build a, a Victorian or a colonial home to stick with some portion of it, like whether it be natural wood moldings or, you know, the hardwood floors, mm -hmm. you know, I try to right. encourage them to stick with that. But if someone wants a thoroughly modern kitchen, it's my job to design for them a right. thoroughly modern kitchen. You know, when we came in here, mm -hmm. my kitchen is very old, and I kept it that way because the home is very old. Right. I kept the original cabinets because it was a part of the house, and that's what I wanted. But, you know, when we sell our home, someone could come along and say, I want this all torn out, and I want to put in something entirely modern and, you know, all stainless steel, and and that's fine. Yeah. You know, it's, it's all a matter of what a person's taste is. You know, again, it, the, you may drive by a house and see a beautiful colonial home, and mm -hmm. then if you walked into it, it's completely modern, contemporary, and, you know, it all depends on what the person wants. Right. So what are some of the questions in that questionnaire that you ask? Um, the era that they grew up in. Uh, what, are they, what exactly are they looking to do with the home? Do they do a lot of entertaining? Um, do they have children? Do they have pets? Uh, you know, things so that I can lead them towards what they want, but they, what they're also going to be able to keep without extensive amounts of work and, um, you know, be comfortable in. What are, uh, what are future plans that you have? I'm not really sure. Um, I'm going to see where this goes. As I said, this is my, basically my retirement job. Um, you know, I've often thought that I would like to open up a small furniture store, a um, consignment mm -hmm. used furniture store where I could store stuff and possibly keep stuff for um, real estate staging and things like that, but I haven't quite gotten to that point yet. But you're really just exploring your passion. Yes, sounds I Sounds like. Yes. Marilyn, I want to thank you so much for inviting me here to your home and also just having a great conversation about what it is that everyone's envy does. And again, I have to say, I've learned a lot from you. So thank you so much for that. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. So I want to thank you all for watching the video and I highly encourage you to visit Marilyn by going to everyonesenvy.com or visiting Everyone's Envy on Facebook. If you're looking for an interior designer uh, and want to have a local Norton business, Marilyn is the perfect person for you. So I want to thank you all for watching and I want to thank Marilyn again for having us here. Thanks and have a great day.